Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Train of Thought. I'm Eniko. I will be playing with trains, giving you thoughts, all that good stuff. Um, I kind of uh, changed this up a bit. I made it a bit nicer looking. Ooh, look it has moving bits. Oh my god. That is literally amazing. Look at that crane go. Yeah, so I did that and let's go all the way over here. I make this a bit nicer. You can see that one side is for unloading oil and the other side is for unloading people. Even though people don't exist yet. I also had to plant a bunch of trees because Barning Head didn't like me. Why do you not like me, city? Why? So I also made this thing here. It's a little oil station. Um, I didn't want to go all the way up the hill. So like, this oil well is just barely inside the area of this station. Oh, I was actually going to make a little road here to make it look nice. Let's make a little road here. Can we do that? Yes. Yes, we can. Oh, apparently we can't because this does not connect the way it should. Wait, but isn't this like a straight bit? I don't know. Can I do this? No, I can't do that. Can I do it now? I can! Oh my gosh! Um, some city doesn't accept petrol anymore. That's no concern of mine. I am sorry, I've just started and I'm already just playing with roads now. I don't know why that, I just, I just, it's, it's immersion. Um, I'm nothing if not all about immersion. I, I really like being uh, immersed. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up this station today, and maybe there's another oil well... Yeah, around here-ish. If we finish this, because it's actually not that far, I'm just realising. Because I can just hook it up here. Um, then we'll probably make another thingy. So, there wasn't an, a Train of Thought episode last week, and I do apologise. It just didn't... It just didn't happen. I had a lot of things to do. And also, I took a three-day weekend, so there you go. But there's a Train of Thought episode now, and that's good. Um, first of all, I have a bit of an announcement. Uh, I tried recording more Crusader Kings 2 yesterday. Currently, I don't know what day it is, but while I'm recording, it's Monday. I don't know when this video is going out. So I tried re no, it's Tuesday. Huh. I tried recording some Crusader Kings 2 with a um, good friend, Everyone Loves Pirates, and the game crashed. And there's been like a DLC and he says after a DLC it's always unstable, so we're gonna try and roll back, which means starting a new game. Which is kind of unfortunate. But that's what you get. I mean, there's just nothing that we can do about it. Actually, let's move this one over. Let's just do that. So we're gonna try and keep that series going. We might do a different start where um, uh, we, we, we play people from the same dynasty trying to take over the country because the whole marriage thing didn't work out so well because one of them, if, if we marry each other, then it's game over for game over for the other person as soon as their um, character dies because um, <clears throat> they don't have any 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 heirs because all the heirs belong either to one or the other line. So that was a bit unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna do something clever here. This is one, two, three, four. Not big enough. That's okay. We can work with that. And then one, two, three, four, five, that's fine. Um, actually, I'm gonna pause this here and figure out which <laughs> sign I need, because I can't remember. <laughs> so apparently it's this single. Si single? Signal! I, I English. I English all the time. How dare you accuse me of not Englishing. So this is a, uh, what is it called? A path signal. And it, it will, it'll reserve this block. I think I did this elsewhere as well. It'll reserve this block. 
and then if there's no trains on it, it's fine. Can I do this? No, I can't do this. Okay. So, and then, okay, so this is going in, so I need to have one here. So see, what happens is, um, you always want to have enough room for the train to safely get out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's fine. So what happens is, if one train is coming here, and it wants to go here, it'll reserve a path through here, which means that trains coming through here will not be blocked. With normal signal blocks, as soon as anyone is in the signal block, and this entire stretch here is one sig signal block, nobody else can enter it, which is a bit dumb. So this is how you do um, efficient intersections in uh, OpenTDD. I hope you learned something. I'm sure this will come in handy in the rest of your life. But probably not. Um, okay, so CK2. What else have I been up to? I've been working. I've been working on mid-boss. Let's forget how these signals go again and look it up somewhere. Okay, white and yellow horizontal. Chitown no longer accept goods. What good are you? Goods are you, Chitown? <laughs> it's because because it's what good are you? And it's like goods. It's a funny. I thought it was funny. I mean, you don't have to think it's funny, but I thought it was funny. How did I do that? Did I do that right? Um, let's just look at this again. Why don't I have a signal here if this is a plain signal? If this is a plain signal, why don't I have a signal here? That seems... that seems dumb. Hmm. Like, if you don't have a signal here, that's because you're doing path-based signaling. But I'm not doing path-based signaling, I'm doing pre-signals. So... I think this is wrong. I think this is better. And this is literally impossible. That's good to know. How did I do that? What did I put there? I am an idiot. No, let's... Is it paused? So, there. Now you can go. You can go, train. You can go. No, stop. Stop doing. No. Ha 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 Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's fine. It's all gonna be okay. There's no need to panic. So yeah, I've been doing some art. I'll actually put a picture up if I remember in post to show you what kind of art I did for mid-boss. It's probably gonna look terrible because this is gonna be stretched, but I don't care. Um, I've also been working on UHD, so now I need to actually fix all these signal blocks everywhere that I did wrong. That is so dumb! Why am I so dumb? Ah, oh, I hate myself. I don't hate myself. I mean, if you really want to, I can hate myself, but I prefer not to hate myself. It's kind of... It's not that good for you, really, to hate yourself. Kids, don't hate yourself. There's enough people to hate you without you contributing. That's my uplifting message for the day. There you go. Do you feel better now? I feel better. I feel so much better. One, two, three, four, yeah, whatever, that's fine. Um, so this should, in theory, work. Let's uh, see how much this makes. Yeah, so UHD. Um, Yuzuki is working on the remastering of the tracks. And that should be done sometime this week. I've been working on com converting the scripting JavaScript to C Sharp because the whole scripting engine thing isn't going to work out for me. It's, it's tragic because I spend so much time and effort on it, but it, sometimes you just need to cut your losses. Um, let's see, actually, do we have a train going somewhere? Can we see a train? Do we have trains? We have a train. What are you? Actually, let's just clone that train. Clone train. Clone train. Give me this train. Good! Amazing. Um, I want you 
to not go to Nunford Woods, but you can go to Parninghead, Portland. Yeah, so the whole scripting thing is not, it's not going to work out, unfortunately. Um, that meant that to get the game running, I had to convert all the scripts to C Sharp so they can be converted to JavaScript so it can all run in a browser. How much are we making? 240. What is your capacity? It's not half the total capacity anyway. Cargo? I thought it had a total capacity somewhere. Oh, total cargo. Total cargo capacity? No, that is not a thing. This is not a technology that we possess, unfortunately. Okay, so I need, let's say 45,000 liters per thing. So it's two is 90, so this is 180 and this is 270. Mm, I think I have too many, so I'm gonna get rid of two of these. And I'm gonna clone this train. And so this is a thing that you do. You, um, no, I want to do shared orders. End of shared orders. Are you shared orders? Can you tell me if you're shared orders? Can you, can you, can you, can you not? Okay, you are both shared orders. That is amazing. That is fine. Okay, so that, that was, um, over rather. Where are you going? Why are you going to... No, don't go to Barning and Portland. Are you going? You are going to the right place. You, you my dear sir, you my good sir, are an idiot. Just so you know, you're an idiot. What? What's the time? So that means that the, the remaster tracks and the web version of UHD London Dare version should be up sometime this week, maybe possibly cross your fingers, but I wouldn't hold my breath because you would die of a lack of oxygen. Um, yeah, so that's that. I, I also um, have been doing DIY. I don't know how people are enjoying that. I actually do know. People seem to be enjoying it, um, even though I, I wasn't that lucid last time. I had the sniffles. It was terrible. I wasn't very good. But none of you got that, hopefully, because I caught so much footage that it's all fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to look at everything we did over with our other railways. Fortunately, we don't have... Oh, we did, a, we did do it right here. Did we do it right everywhere? I must have just done it wrong on, on that one station because, because, uh, ba -derb -derb. Is this right? Yes. Why is there such a long stretch here without signals? That is, that is not a good thing. So yeah. Once that is done, um, the, the Ludum Dare web version, I can actually start, um, <laughs> exclusive exclusive news we're going to release a commercial version with more levels and more polish and um, a way to actually defeat fab and his curse in we're thinking november so you're the first who go away you're the first who found that out congrats i have to oh i never polished up to 10. that is tragic that's a travesty Let's just do that now. I like I don't like the suburban stations, but I really love the the, the rural stations because you have like these little hedges. It's just so nice. Don't you think that's nice? I think that's nice. Your town now accepts goods. Good for you. Ha! Get it? Good for you. I am just, you know completely doing this right. Oh, actually, let's have one without a hedge. Can we have one without a hedge? We cannot. That is not a, that is not a technology that we possess. So that's fine. There. Uh, this is now Chitown Station. There you go, Chitown. Your station now no longer looks like ours. 
fact, it probably looks nicer than Puddingville, which has very few shelters. Um, I've, I've also been thinking about doing a series for a Patreon, which doesn't exist yet, because I'm probably not going to put that live until after I have like the tech for UHD lockdown. Where does this road even go? What are you even doing here? Did I do that? I may have done that. So there's a lot of passengers here, but we don't care about that. Actually, I haven't looked at New Butway for a while. Are you still there, little forklift driver? Yes, you are. Yeah, once I have that um, um, lockdown, I'm probably going to put up a Patreon. And the reason is this. I don't actually expect anyone to give me money. Although, if you want to give me money, please do. I, I need money to live. Um... I'm just walking there, but that's fine. We haven't looked at this in a while. Yeah, I need money, but, you know, I don't really expect anyone to give me money. The thing is, I, I have basically capped out my hours a week that I'm willing to spend on YouTube, because I need to make games so I can make money, so I can live, as we have priorly discussed. And I want to do this um, series. I'm just going to talk over, over Botway. Because this, this is now a flogging section, because I can't do this and also play the game. I'm sorry. Actually, I can probably do it if I if I go do the other thing. Yeah, let's let's do that. That's, um... Where's the thing? That's Barneyhead Portland. I don't know why it has two names. I think that's a bit queer, but okay. Um... Yeah, I don't expect people to actually pay me. I honestly really don't. I'm not even joking here. Oh, oh wow, that's a big hill. Maybe if I turn turn this down a bit. Can I do this then? I can. Amazing. I have completely messed up the terrain here. Okay, finish your sentence, Azini. You are a terrible person. I'm not finishing my sentence, because I'm a terrible person. We've discussed this already, how are you even surprised? And I want to do, I've been doing a lot of research on this, and one of the Patreon goals is going to be, this is going through a town? That is amazing. It's not terribly practical, but it's still kind of amazing. Okay, we need to get rid of this. I want to do a series called Back to Basic, which is literally me trying to make a half-decent game in QBasic. Breddingbury? No, we can do better than that. Come on. Come on now. You know we can do better than that. Breddingbury. There we go. Isn't that much better? Thank you, coffee maker for weighing in on this debate. Back to Basic is a series where I wrest control from QBasic to try and make a half decent modernish, and by modernish I mean like SNES era type game. And I've been doing a lot of research and I think it would be very interesting. Very interesting. Because not only do you learn like about the history of DOS and basic and all these limitations that you had like for instance did you know that back in the day no matter how much memory you had you could only use like the first 640 kilobytes of it because that's all that that ms-dos could use and eventually you got like 64k in the upper memory areas more but that was still not and all the memory managers that give you access to all the stuff above one megabyte of memory they like, they, um, they could only, like, you had the conventional memory, which is the 640k, and you had extended and expanded memory, and if you wanted to put anything into, like, the, the memory of your computer that you had, this is going to be interesting. 
Do I want to do this? No, I don't. I'm going to make another track that's parallel to that one. Yeah, you have to basically have it in conventional memory first, and then put it into the other memory. And you couldn't do any any manipulation of that data directly. You you basically had to move it back and forth constantly, which is ridiculous. But that's the way that worked, apparently. Even I didn't know that. Now, because QBasic has such memory limitations, it only gives you like 64 kilobytes of memory to actually work with, which is completely insane. Let's see, which one is coming in? This is coming this way, so this is coming in. Okay. So you're gonna come here. One, two, three, four, five. Single. Okay, fine. That's good. Um, yeah, let's... This is, this is already the wrong way. I have already messed this up. So because of that, I'm gonna have to do some assembly. Now, I did mention it was supposed to be QBasic, right? But you can, if you store assembly code, bytecode, because compiled assembly as a string inside QBasic, you can call that code and have it run. So I'm counting this as, as a valid approach, because otherwise I just can't do it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take a page out of the, the, the book of Nez and Snez and have like one memory area that has like the, the tile maps and the graphics for all the tiles and the palettes and stuff and just build the entire screen from that block of memory in a way that is actually similar to the Nez and Snez. And then that's basically going to be the engine, and then all the logic is going to be actual cube basic code, which is still going to be challenging enough because it doesn't have like classes or anything. It's really extremely limited. This is very annoying. And I think that would be a really cool series because it's like education because you learn about all this old hardware and stuff that you may have used at some point in the past, or if you're one of my younger viewers, never used because you were born past the age of fun, basically. I'm sorry, but that's just how I see that. No, that's not how I see that. I'm just being sardonic. Sarcastic? I'm some, something with sar. Yeah, so I think that would be really interesting. And then um, I also made a mock-up of, of what I want the game to look like. Um because I felt inspired. Let's see. Let's do this right. Okay. And I think that could be really interesting, but I just don't... It would take so much time just researching it, and my free time has, has taken up a lot of, lot of my um, hours. And that's why I need the Patreon, just so I can financially justify that I'm putting all that time into something so kind of silly, really. And hopefully people will um, think that's a good idea. And if they don't, then I won't do it, unfortunately. So that would be sad, wouldn't it? I do think it would be sad. So let's, um, actually, let's, how, how much do you make? 112, that's almost nothing. Are you going in here? Yes, you are. Amazing. Clone me that train. Good. So, get rid of another two. Clone the train. Make one of them go to... Here. Flood any cargo. Skip. And the other one needs to go to shared orders. And then I think that's a wrap. Wait, are they only going to non-stop? I think it automatically it implies non-stop, but I'm not sure. We'll see if they go non-stop or not. I've been playing on X-Ray all this time, and I don't think that's a good thing to do. 
So let's just see what that's, that train is. Yeah, so I think that could be um, cool. I think that could be real cool. And I'm kind of excited about it. And I hope other people will be enough excited about it to pay for it so I can actually make it. Because that would be nice. Some people have suggested Kickstarter for this idea. I'm just going to leave it running like this because... Um, are you the wrong train? You are the wrong train. You're not going to go first. The other one is going to go first. Okay. Go away. Nobody likes you. Um, yeah, I, I hope people will, will be stoked about that idea. People have recommended maybe doing a Kickstarter instead. I'm not really feeling it because I don't... I, how would I budget for that? That makes no sense at all. No, I'm not going to do a Kickstarter. Although, so the cool thing is, since I'm modeling this after the NES and the SNES, eventually I might be able to port the code to like a SNES ROM using like the dev tools that you have nowadays to make your own SNES ROMs. And that would be cool. I think that would be quite interesting. Don't you? I think it would. And then I can maybe do like a Kickstarter to make like physical cartridges for people who want them. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, favorite, and subscribe. Ha! Uh, I do that every video. Nobody, nobody ever, nobody ever favor. Does anyone still use favorites on um, YouTube? Leave, leave whether you use favorites or not in the comments. Ha! Okay, I'm just rambling now. Why is this train taking so long? You are taking too long. Stop taking so long. Okay, let's see where it goes, and then we're gonna close up. So yeah, I've been quite busy. Um, once I, uh, let's see what the train does before I finish that sentence. Nope, it's not going. It's not going. It's implicitly. I don't want you to go there implicitly. Just go non-stop. I go non-stop. Good! Good, good. That's all well and good. Let's see if, if he actually makes it back in time. I don't think he's going to make it back in time, is he? Well, I'll fix that at some point. I also don't know why, why they're not just reversing at the station. But that's fine. What is this then? Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, so... What was I saying? What was that thought I had? I can't remember. It's very unfortunate. Um... So yeah! That is a thing that is maybe happening, but maybe also not happening. Train of thought. I'll see you next time. Bye.